Hey guys, welcome back to Tour Reviews 51, review number 108. As you can see here, we have the Joker and Harley Quinn uh, combo statue from the Suicide Squad put out by DC Collectibles. Uh, this is the front of the box, as you guys may have seen before, or if you haven't, they're in, the, in my videos. I did uh, the full line of the uh, DC Suicide Squad statues. And this one is the last release, which is the combo statue. It came out about six, seven months after the other ones. Uh, here's the side of the box. Uh, measures approximately 13 and a quarter inches in height. Uh, gonna be a cool little statue here. I think it's James Marsano. Yeah, James Marsano and Eric Sosa were uh, the designers, the sculpt behind this. And as you can see here, here are the six uh, single display statues I did all the uh, reviews on it and the last one I did was Katana where I did the full line display so if you guys want to catch those uh, they're on my channel and the other side of the box just some artwork here of the statue uh, so let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look at it and see how this uh, turns out I've been anticipating this for roughly about a year since they put it on pre-order um, received it in about a week and a half ago right now it's the last day of April um, so let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look at this combo statue Suicide Squad the Joker and Harley Quinn the Jared Leto and Margot Robbie version so let's go ahead and check it out okay so before I put it together uh, this is how it comes packaged here um, pretty simple. Uh, that's how I like to do stuff. I hate doing a bunch of the work assembling it, but it is what it is with some of them. Uh, here's the base. Uh, looks like it's as basic as it can come. Uh, actually, there's the Suicide Squad um, uh, print on the front, just like the other single statues. And then, of course, each one's different. Uh, this actually it looks like the, the Leto uh, Joker statue comes fully put together, just got inserted by the peg. And then the uh, detachable arm holding the bat from Harley Quinn. So I'm going to go ahead and put it all together. Let's take a look at the uh, statue in full display here. Okay, so real quick, one thing I noticed here, kind of something different, is, okay, the Joker doesn't come with the right arm because it's attached to the side of Harley Quinn. Really fucking cool. Uh, as you can see there, there's the peg where it'll insert right here. Uh, absolutely love it. I put the arm on there with the bat. Uh, great detail, as you can see right there. Uh, good night. All the inscriptions on it. Really cool. Uh, uh, the way they did this uh, sculpting here. So uh, this is actually paint. Looks like a like a plaster that made this shirt right here. It isn't an actual cloth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. We'll take a look at it and uh, see what we think about it. All right, so here we have it, fully assembled, the Harley Quinn and Joker Suicide Squad uh, combo statue from DC Collectibles. These run about, I think it was $250, $300, something like that. It wasn't an outrageous price, but definitely not cheap. Um, one thing that was kind of weird that, uh, as you can see, I have the hand on correctly, um, but if we look on the box right here, which I'll turn the box sideways, it shows where the good knight part of the bat is outwards it's absolutely impossible uh, to do that um i tried i spent a couple minutes trying it and there's absolutely no way this is the way it poses so unless they paint the bat differently on some which i would highly doubt or that was just a manufacturing error um but yeah um that's how it turned out let's take a good look here um love the pose uh fucking awesome statue uh love it uh joker holding his pistol in his left hand uh pointing up uh, I like how they did everything on this. It's pretty spot on. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, Harley Quinn with her left hand over the Joker's shoulder, which actually you guys seen how that was manufactured there. Um, so really cool, uh, the idea they came up with there. So that was a brilliant idea. Um, so we'll work our way down. I uh, just love the statue. Uh, anything Harley Quinn, I usually pick it up. Uh, on the base there, as you guys can see, uh, Suicide Squad, just a basic logo, which I'm cool with that. Um, I like how they did the uh, the shoes. Uh, they're pretty on point there. Uh, we'll take a closer look. So, love it. Even have the tattoos of the eyes in the back. Uh, property of Joker on the back of the uh, jacket. We'll turn it around here. So, really cool pose. I love the statue. Uh, great job by DC. 
Um, all the tattoos are really just on point. A lot of them are covered up, uh, of course, by the uh, clothing uh, artwork here. So, there you can see the J underneath the left eye of the Joker, uh, the Paul Wall type grill there. Um, but overall, fucking love it. Uh, great statue. Would highly recommend it. I think that they still are available over at DC Collectibles. Uh, so if you can pick it up and you're into the Suicide Squad, I'd highly recommend this statue. Especially if you have the others. I mean, why not complete the set? Um, so there it is. We'll go ahead and close it out for review number 108. Torby's 51. Uh, just been busy life, so... Videos haven't been uh, as frequent of, uh, as I'd hoped, but still putting them out there. So, appreciate you guys watching. I'll be following up soon. Uh, just received in the half scale uh, Prime 1 Superman. So, I'm going to do a review on it pretty soon. Uh, so, appreciate you guys watching. Review number 108, Toy Reviews 51. Uh, hope you guys have a good evening. P peace out. Later on.